I think this is like the, the fourth or fifth episode I've started around this area, but hey guys, it's on Tidy here on this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. We're gonna... I, I don't know where we're supposed to go. I'm trying to pull up my town map right now. I think I might need to uh, have Zombie Swana fly us to where we need to go, if I'm remembering where we need to go to correctly. Also, I don't think my town map is in my TM's category. Just to check. Uh, hmm. So we can go to the Icarus City. Where was I thinking? Uh, Nimbasa is where that could be. White Forest. Uh, hmm. Okay, she was talking about Twist Mountain, so I still believe we can head that way just past Celestial Tower. I think I I probably like zoned in on Celestial Tower and really didn't like pay attention to anything else there. So, uh I guess that's where we're headed. Um hmm, who should we have out front? Cho's probably like a safe pick, especially cuz I want to get that evolution going. So, I'm going to give him the lucky egg, and I think I'll just cut to what we when we get like where ish we've been. Or when I figure out that I've gone the wrong way and I've made a huge mistake. But, we'll see. Heading over there right now. Alright, so it looks like we can take this little, at least, path thing over here. So, I assume this is the right way to go. And, rival battle? Or just rival call? Or, no, no, it's just a telemarketer. Have you heard about the new- oh, no, it's our mother. Even worse. This is your mom. How are you doing? <laughs> wow, you're already on Route 7? You've gone quite far. Say, how are your Pokemon? You can't get that far all by yourself, you know. It's all thanks to your Pokemon. You're a lazy piece of garbage. You can't do anything for yourself. That's why I, you have to live with me and I have to take care of all your dirty laundry. Don't forget to take care of them. Am I being too rude? Well, take care. Senior Trainer Mom signing off. Ugh. Women. Am I right? No, I, I have nothing against women, especially mothers. It was joke. It was funny joke. Please don't hurt me now, clown. I'm just... Oh, that's a quality type move. That I don't know who I would give to, but that is a quality type move. Also, is this technically a new route? I forget if we got a, another uh, show of an area. I'm not 100% sure. I want to run and see if I can get another overlay to come up. I don't think so. I think we're we're still technically on this route. Okay. Also, there's a lot of those little items over there that I didn't pick up. So, will you heal my Pokemon? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> if we're talking about being pseudo-sexist to women, if since her yammering stop while she's cooking, it's another bonus for me. I'm making delicious stoop. Stoop, stop. I never stop into these things. Uh, okay, cool. So there's somewhere to heal up our Pokemon. I was about to say, if I come in here, like, the first of these little areas that I find, I'm like, hey, I guess I can stop in here and stop my constant just running around for battles and everything to do something that, quote-unquote, progresses, oh, God, progresses the plot. Those are how you say those words. Uh... Yeah, that's a good thing. Can I just pop on down? Nice. New area? Twist Mountain. Alright. And just when I think it's time for another wild Pokemon, it's just time for another wild chair. Since we both hold the jet badge now, let's see which one of us is stronger. Also, how do you know I hold the jet badge? Because we have our, our badges. They're not, like, pinned on us, like, very nicely. They're in a nice little badge case. So unless you have x-ray vision, and you're secretly also a lizard person... Uh, that's kind of concerning. Also, it's kind of concerning that our Pokemon that is out... Okay, I thought we had, uh, your boy out. Uh, <laughs> names are hard. Also, Cho should probably not be doing too much work in this battle with it being raining out. Um, we're gonna bring Lumen in here. I can't imagine Unpheasant's gonna do too much. If Charon's classic Charon, he might use a stat boosting item. Uh, no. Okay. I can live with the taunt. I was going to hit him in the face anyway, so it just makes it one step easier. And we don't take any damage. So I'm going to spark that real quick. No flinch. Ah, even if we do, it's not that bad. Okay. Uh, pff. One shot? I'm, I'm feeling the one shot. And uh, nope. Your strength and my strength. Right. Let's test them. 
Okay, I feel like that was probably a roll, a low roll on the uh, spark. I feel like we might be able to knock him out. And, well, that would only be if we were able to attack. Taunt me again. Waste my time again. I don't think I've, I, or maybe I've explained it, like, in a very, like, much earlier episode. But, uh, something I only learned after playing Pokemon Online, uh, moves have, like, a, a, like, range of damage that they can do. They always don't do the exact same amount of damage. And when I say a roll, I imagine, like, the the luck of doing up more damage and, like, doing less damage as, like, a dice roll because it's, like, all based on luck. So if I, like, I want a high roll, like, if I imagine that the first time we did Spark, I thought it was a low roll because we didn't do that much damage. I expect us to do more. So I thought if we attacked again, the damage that it did could be enough to one-shot him from that point. But it looks like that cost possibly could have been a high roll because it looks like we did less damage with the second Spark. That was a very roundabout way to explain that and a very confusing, but yeah. Orange Jesus. Orange Jesus. Uh, let's just get one more spark out of the way. We should be good. It's just such a shame Luma can evolve. I can't imagine the stat increases are too much, but still, it'd be very, very helpful to have. And Cho is getting very close to evolving. Speaking of evolutions, uh... It's college job. I'm so used to having like a plethora of water types to choose from. But now we just got cloud, but it's nice we do have this boosted uh, rain going on for us. Let's just take a nice, easy little shot at this boy. Scald him for even trying. Okay, he is three levels above us, so that could be a problem. I think he learns like some sort of electric charge, but I guess we'll never find out. Because he's absolute trash garbage. And that's a ton of XP. Simsage. Uh, I do this every time. Uh, I'm going to send out Stevie because I think he's the fire type. I'm like 90% sure he's the fire type. But I don't know. And I don't want to risk it. Actually, no. He's got to be the grass type. He's the grass type. See, I, I do that every time. I'm like, he's the grass type. No, no, but Sim Sage, like, Simi, he's got to be the fire type. And then I'm dumb, and I just stand out Stevie, because I just don't, I don't want to screw this up and lose a Pokemon, just because I can't remember the name of just this one area. And okay, so we get, in rain, we get decreased accuracy, which is probably one of the less effective ones that we can get off of secret power in different conditions, but like, it, it gets the job done. It puts the lotion on the skin. It doesn't kill me in one shot. Good. Okay. We got a little bit more of that. I wonder how many hyper potions I have. Because, like, I could walk, do that short little walk back to that little hut and get healed. But, hyper potions. Okay. This is the random leopard guy. And, uh, Stevie's in a little bad condition. I'll just let Luma take care of this. I think it mainly attacks with physical attacks, so I should be good. Uh, you might fake me out. Can he be strong even if you lose? Yep, fake out. That's going to do like nothing because of steel typing. Yeah. Alright. I can live with that. That raises... Uh, okay. Again! <laughs> I think that's that's another like very recurring thing that happens in this let's play. I'll be like, I know what that move, and it's it's almost always torment. I'm like, I know what torment does, and then I forget what torment does. That's a physical attack. That's not gonna do much. Yeah, Luma, I Luma could just be so much better if he was able to evolve. Even though it's still like in a really good spot. I keep on saying this, but like, Luma could be in a much better spot. He still is like a very solid member of our team. That I, I'm very happy to have. Why, Charon? Why do you gotta play like a, a competitive mastermind? This is just like this is just like a little friendly battle. You're that one guy who just like shows up to pick up basketball with like sweatbands and you've been practicing all week for this one game of pick up basketball. Like, come on, come come down. We're just having fun here. You don't need to bring your your Michael Jordan game to our little uh uh 
grade school playground pickup game of basketball. Come on, let's just knock this out real quick. Even though all of us have that one friend who's like super competitive and do does that. And uh, please hit yourself so we don't have to suffer another turn. That works too. I'm going to do the uh, cheeky little volt switch because it doesn't matter. Do I still have to switch out? I wonder if this is a way to get XP. Or does it have an... Hmm. I wonder if it's not the last Pokemon. Okay, no, we don't still get the switch. I wonder if it's, if it's not the last Pokemon. Does the Pokemon who we switch in get the XP? That's a little interesting little trick we could use. That was a fine Pokemon battle. I'm happy to see you're both growing as trainers. Parkour? Parkour. Yeah, I remember that distinctly from the first time I played this game. I was like, uh, what? one, where does this voice come from? Two, how does he... How are his legs still legs, even though, from what we can see, there are little tiny little peg legs? If it isn't the champion order, I'm weak, so I lost. And honestly, it bothers me when you call me a f call it a fine battle, despite that. Oh, honestly, Churn, just accept the compliment without the stinging remark. I asked you this before, but what do you plan on doing after becoming strong? If I get strong and become a champion, that would be reason for my existence. I want to prove that I'm really living. Hmm, you remind me of Marshall. Of course, having something you want to become is important. But what is even more important is what you do with your newfound power. Anyway, take this. HM? Hey, finally. Do Hopefully Cloud can learn that. <laughs> if you use the move Surf, you can travel over water. I shall see you again, young trainers. Don't forget about the needs of Pokemon at your side. I just really noticed in this game you don't. There really hasn't been too many HMs that we've acquired so far. I want to become a strong trainer so everyone will acknowledge that power. Scott, next time, I will win. I doubt it. Unless you want this Let's Play the end. Uh, which many fans of not uh, these videos would agree that they would want it to end. But, uh, you know, sticks and stones will break my bones, but jumping off cliffs will not break my legs. Uh, hmm. Now, do I have enough... Hyper and Super Potions to frivolously spend and uh, work with my impatience. Nice. Okay, last Super Potion. How many Hyper Potions? Oh, 13. I'll be fine. Famous last words. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so I think we're all good. We can fight that battle that I really don't want to right there because he's in the way. Uh, actually, I should see if uh, Cloud can learn Surf while we're here. Because if I need to get a Surf Pokemon, that could be quite a problem. That could put me in a very odd place for uh which well for having my team. But nice okay. We don't have to deal with any of those problems. We can just get a nice little surf on my boy. Uh that is also a special attack. Okay, so we're just getting benefit from this. Like not losing anything at all by making it Well I guess we're we're losing a, a slot, a move slot that we can't get back. But still that's I'm I'm happy with this. Also, Mount Man probably having rock types I get the tryout surf. Uh, oh yeah, poor TM Slade Cloud. I just noticed we've gotten like two TMs all game, and Cloud has both of them. Conquering a mountain means conquering your fears. Can you win against a Pokemon that have conquered many mountains? I pr probably if I if I have like the right type matchup. I mean, okay, and classic stereotyping. He's got the Rock Man. He has Mega Man in his arsenal. And uh, Cloud needs a couple more levels anyway. Oh, God, yeah, we're... Oh, he is sturdy. We're going to have to do two moves on this. He most likely is sturdy, so we can't one-shot him, even though type advantage, stab move, rain effect. Yeah. Why you got to be so rude? Oh, no, now he has an iron defense up. Whatever can I do to do this one HP damage? How could I ever hurt? I'm going to bite him. Because why not? <coughs> it's all about the BM. Even though last episode I said I don't like ne unnecessary BM, it's always really about the BM. You need to be as bad-mannered as possible to everyone you know. A uh, He is a fighting-type Pokemon. Mm. Uh, Cloud has a lot of advantages here. Probably be like the same level. 
I can't imagine him having any electric type move. And we have so much damage with Surf plus Stab plus Weather Effects that probably two or three shot him. Yeah, wow. That that's just that weather boosted stab. How many times can I say it? Uh, water type move is just too much. You conquered the beatless mountain. That beatlister is me. Well, I mean, if you knew about the Saves Untitled channel, you would know that I am an A-list YouTube celebrity with C-list level videos. 